back here at Dodger Stadium. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Kenta Maeda please. enters now in a mop up now role as he'll try to Dodgers. keep the deficit right where it Number is. 18. Kenta Maeda. Stepping in, number 58, already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Heading out towards shallow right, Verdugo waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The pitcher, number 21. At the plate, Kyle Freeland. Kyle. And an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon. And you have to say, he's really earned it. First offering on its way. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Pollock has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The right fielder, number nine. Digging in, Charlie Blackman. Charlie. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's got five base hits in 18 at bats. He's taken him deep once. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Maeda, originally from Japan, of course. He's in his third season as a major league player. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Line toward the alley in left center. Taylor is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the shot. Stepping into the box, Max Muncy for two on the Dodgers. afternoon so far. It doesn't baseman. look very promising Matt. so far in this one as we move Monty. into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Here's Swing up. and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. He struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare Third down a man. really good hitter. Yep. And instead yeah. of working around the zone, he Carver. challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Standing in now, Justin Turner. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Ball two. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just off the plate, just missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back-to-back case, and that was his ninth Cody. of the game. If you're striking out Bellinger. one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. Stepping in now, Cody Bellinger. As we're two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball.
This is on the ground over the first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Dodgers. But this one's pretty much over 14 to nothing. So striding in, Trevor Story. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, B. Well, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, now it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate. And they did. Swing and a drive. How to get that one? You'll need a 50 foot ladder to make the catch. A no doubt home run. A solo home run there for David Dahl as the blowout continues. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's got three base hits in 24 at bats. And additionally, he's gone down on strikes 13 times. Here's the first pitch to him. Weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Again, another foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Another one sent foul. The next 0 2. Hit sharply on the ground. Seeger is up with it. And there's out number two. The first baseman, number nine. So Daniel. coming to the plate, Daniel Murphy. Murphy. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Here comes the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Two out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Taylor is there. And that ends the inning. Into the box now. A.J. Pollock. He leads off their half of the eighth. Well, and they've been unable to get Dodgers. that starter out of the game the to this point. Fielder. Yeah, he settled in yeah. early on the mound. Partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. batter, number five. Shortstop, Corey Seager. Here's Corey Seager. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. 
He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Didn't mess around much is. in that at the bat, right Dan. <laughs> no, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Coming to the plate now, Alex Verdugo. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Boy, he's been great in this one, and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another strikeout here, his 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. Here's Ryan McMahon now. He's had a great game so far, run. and a triple the would complete the cycle. Ryan. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Verdugo waits on it. One down. Now with the play, Ian Desmond, previous head-to-head -head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's a 333 hitter. He also has one home run. First pitch of the at-bat. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. One out, nobody on. This is line to left. Taylor is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Number 58. Riding in once again, number 58. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Pollock. A dive and he brings it in. And Settling in now, number 16, starting things for his Lady side off. in the, the ninth country. as they face the, the improbable country. odds number of trying 16. to come Here back on. in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. No he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him, 0-2. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Kike Hernandez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Kike Hernandez. A high fastball is in there. His career numbers against this pitcher. He's three for 15. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Hernandez, a native of Puerto Rico. He was taken in the sixth round back in the 2009 MLB draft. 
Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Kike Hernandez the left goes field. down, Number and three. they've got only one out left, left to work with. Now back to the top of the Dodgers order. Digging in, Chris Taylor. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Had him reaching that time. It's strike one. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll make the catch to put an end to this one. And the Rockies get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 15 nothing the final in this one. Colorado in a game with seven home runs earned the victory. Kyle Freeland earns the victory on the mound. Hyunjin Ryu struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Time of the ball game, four hours exactly.